Debt can be stressful. It makes you feel guilty when you shop. You may be constantly worried about how you're ever gonna pay it down. You might feel anxious every time you even check your bank account statement. And I recommend leaving that kind of energy in 2022. Hey, I'm Laurieann, I'm co-founder of Dow Jane's and a money coach, and I know what it's like to be in debt. And today I'm gonna give you five steps to make progress towards creating a debt-free life this year. These are five steps to pay off debt this year. Step number one, upgrade your debt identity to a wealth identity. I often find that people who have been in debt for a while start to truly identify with it. They are not just experiencing debt temporarily, they start to believe that they are the kind of person who has debt. And this belief structure makes it really hard to ever get out of debt because as humans, we naturally just won't do things that do not fit with our view of ourselves. Or if we do, then they don't last very long unless we update how we see ourselves. So do you have a debt identity? When you imagine yourself in the future, just close your eyes for a second, imagine yourself in five years, do you imagine your debt still being there? If so, it's time to update your identity. And the way to do that is through the repetition of new thoughts, new actions, and new emotions. I want you to take a minute and close your eyes. And now imagine how it will feel to be free of your debt. See yourself again in the future, but this time without the debt. What happens to your energy level? How do you feel about yourself? What do you feel capable of? I want you to jot down a few notes and then start practicing feeling these ways every day, right now. You don't have to wait. Now let's get into some of the more tactical steps to clearing your debt. Step number two, assess your spending and your saving habits. Now, first you need to know what is happening with your money each month. At the end of the month, do you have money left over in your bank account? Or are you breaking even on the month? You're not getting ahead, but you're not going further into debt. Or do you not quite have enough money to cover your month? And at the end of the month, you've actually gone further into debt. If you don't know, then it's time to start writing down every dollar that comes into your life and every dollar that you spend. This will give you the clarity that you need in order to take the next step, step three, which is to reduce your existing expenses. If in the previous step, you found that you are spending more money than you make, then it's time to really think about where you can start to save costs. And the first step to doing this is to get creative. This is a creative exercise. This is not a chore. This is an opportunity to think outside of the box. And the best way to do that is to put everything on the table, remove the boundaries. Even things that you don't think you can do are allowed in the brainstorming phase. In the brainstorming phase, there's no such thing as a bad idea. So I want you to go through and list each of your expenses and then brainstorm ways that you could reduce that expense. And this includes expenses that you think are fixed, like your rent or your mortgage, because maybe moving to a cheaper place is gonna be a really powerful way to help you get out of debt faster. Or maybe switching your insurance providers for a lower rate on your car insurance is gonna free up a couple hundred bucks that helps you pay down your debt. You go through past subscriptions, could you pause them or cancel them altogether? If you look at your past bills, have you ever tried to call and negotiate and see if you could get a lower rate or reduce your fees? Brainstorm ways that you can cut down on your monthly expenses and then write them down. Then create some deadlines for actually taking action and trying each of those strategies out. For some of the stuff, you'll be able to do it right away. Like you can cancel your Netflix subscription today, or you could cancel your Amazon Prime membership today but maybe you are gonna do a bigger thing as well, like research if you really can move to a cheaper place and you're gonna give yourself until the end of the month to do that research project. But make a real plan here. Your expenses are not all fixed. They are variable and you can change them. And doing so is gonna free up money to help you get out of debt even faster. Step number four is to work on the other side of the equation and increase your income by $1,000 a month. 
To really accelerate your timeline to being debt free, you need to work with both sides of the cash flow equation. We want to increase money coming in and decrease money going out so that you have as much money as possible left over to put towards your debt. Now, in the previous step, you identified ways that you can reduce your existing expenses. Now it's time to see if there are ways that you can increase the amount of money that's coming into your life. I want you to do a similar brainstorm exercise and list all of the things that you can think of that you could do to increase your income. Make sure to include things like asking for a raise, switching jobs, starting a side hustle and getting a part-time job. Flesh those out and see what new ideas come to you. Then I want you to map out how many hours it would take for you to increase your income by $1,000 a month through each of those options. The ones that take the least amount of time and feel the most fun for you are the ones that are worth pursuing. And you may find that a combination of options is your best path forward. Maybe you are going to both ask for a raise and start walking dogs on Rover for 10 hours a week. Ultimately, you got to do what fits for your lifestyle and your goals and increasing your income by $1,000 a month. is just a target. This isn't the right number for everyone, but setting a target will help stimulate new thinking. Then once you have some new thinking, you can figure out what is truly workable for you and go do it. Then you're going to take all of that additional income and put it towards your debt. If you have more than one debt that you were trying to pay down, you're going to follow step number five, make a debt pay down plan. I recommend using what I call the intelligent snowball method. I talk more about it in this video, which I will also link to in the description if you want to learn more about it. But here's the gist. First, you're going to list out all your debts. You're going to write down the amount owed and the interest rate you're paying on that debt. And you're going to write them in order from the smallest balance so the smallest amount that you owe to the largest. And your spreadsheet may look something like this, or it could be a list on paper. Now, just like the traditional snowball method, which has you pay down your debts from the smallest balance to the largest balance, you're going to start in the same way and you're going to pay down your smallest debt first. That means that every month you will pay the minimum amount on all of your debts, except for the one with the smallest balance, which has become your priority debt. On that one, you're going to pay, pay not only the minimum, but anything else that you can spare. And you're going to do this until it is paid off completely. Once you've paid it off, first of all, celebrate. Yes, that's awesome. You are building wealth and knocking out your debt identity for good. And now you're going to move on to the next debt. With the traditional snowball method, you would pay the next debt down based on the size of its balance. But with the intelligent snowball method, you are now going to pay down your next debt based on its interest rate. So if you have a debt that has a much higher interest rate, you're going to focus on that debt next. This way, you're both building your confidence in your ability to pay down debt by knocking out a debt with a small balance first, but you're also reducing the amount that you'll have to pay in interest and effectively lowering the amount of money you'll pay towards your debt overall, which gets you out of debt and into wealth building mode faster. After you've paid off those first two debts, you just keep paying down debt in order of the highest interest rate to the lowest until it's all gone. All right. I got a bonus tip for you here. I want you to make paying down your debt fun. Most people relate to debt like a dead weight, like something they are struggling against. And I know the debt can be stressful. I know it can feel brutal, but we really do want to leave those feelings behind. Debt might suck, but paying down your debt, that's awesome. And you need to let yourself feel awesome every single time you put an extra penny towards that debt because those pennies are progress. You are winning every time you chip away at it and you deserve to feel like a winner all along the way, not just at the end. A way that I loved making paying down debt more fun was to create a visual tracker. You can Google an image or find some on Pinterest. You can draw it yourself or find a free template online and start coloring it in every time you make a payment on your priority debt. It is fun. It is motivating and it's rewarding to be able to visually see your progress. And I recommend keeping that tracker on your fridge or somewhere very front and center in your life. Be loud and proud about paying off your debt. 
This is not a shameful thing. This is a brave, ambitious, and awesome thing that you are doing. So display it proudly. Now, if you want more help paying down debt, I recommend you sign up for our free mini course, Five Days to Debt Free. In it, we give you a ton of useful resources for getting out of debt quickly and forever. I will leave a link down below. And if you want more support on your financial journey, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. We publish free content every week to help you achieve your biggest money goals. All right, thanks for watching.